Hi lovelies and welcome to the Witch's Cookery. Today I have a massive magical giveaway that will make your little witchy heart explode with joy. Just as a thank you for being such an awesome and kind community always in the comment section and for allowing me to exist here on YouTube and uh, do my enchanted shenanigans. I did another little thing and poured my blood, sweat and tears into it. A while ago I had asked you on my community tab what is lacking from your life as a witchcraft practitioner and the overwhelming 90% majority answered this question with community. Maybe someone that understands your excitement about this super cool thrifted oracle deck. Maybe a lovely group of like-minded people to celebrate the holidays on the year with. Or someone that gets why you just got so super excited about that bunch of sticks you found on that walk. People that don't judge you for lighting a green candle to draw in a bit more cash. Or people that directly assume that you're sacrificing goats under a full moon on your weekends off just because you say you are a witch. In other words, you asked for a witchy friend. Hoven sister. A magical mister, non-binary spellcasters. And I did rack my pretty little brain to come up with something to form this kind of community, foster this type of connection in the witchcraft world. When I started out on my path as a new witch, the internet was still this loud thing that would block your phone line anytime you would go online. <laughs> say I if you remember. Witchcraft forums were full of glittery spinning banners, little icons of cats flying on broomsticks and I usually had a clique of really active people in there that would gatekeep like there was a no tomorrow. Very judgy, very rule of three, very this is how it's done and there's no other way. Needless to say that me as the little rebel decided pretty quickly that I wanted nothing to do with those lunatics and I would just be a solitary practitioner. Which for the most part, even though I'm very much an extrovert, didn't really bother me too much. Until of course every time the holidays on the Wheel of Year would roll around and my kitchen witch heart would feel the desire to cook a bouquet for people and celebrate and just enjoy the season. If you're a kitchen witch too, please tell me I'm not alone in this and you also write down fictional menus for the for the holidays that you would serve to your fictional friends if you if you had any <laughs> or if I'm just really really odd which is of course also a possibility. And later on when Facebook rolled around there were a couple of like pagan and witchy groups too but wow very few where I can actually feel a kind supportive community spirit. Little shout out to the Higgewitch group on Facebook though because that is a fantastic community. But anyways forums didn't work out for me meeting someone in real life I didn't really know where to look even and those online groups were much too big to actually build a proper connection or even a friendship with someone. So the first real taste of community I got when I started this channel and I suddenly got in contact over Instagram with other witches. I found other witchy creators that I formed friendship with and then I had to decide to meet those people. So if you have followed my channel for a longer time you know that I organized a Beltane witchcraft retreat, the Wicked Walpurgisnacht and that was a massive success. It was only five days, the people that came were absolute strange but at the last day of the retreat everyone was super bonded, close, crying in each other's arms. The people are now still hanging out together, traveling to visit each other, sending parcels. Thank you everyone by the way. I feel so loved and so special. It was this crazy, elevating, liberating, exciting experience that I have always dreamt of. Having like-minded people there that just understand what you're talking about, that share your passions, that inspire you with their own ideas, with their own practice. And I did get overly excited because to, next to planning three more retreats next year, I also spontaneously scheduled a Samhain retreat for the season of the witch. By the way, already opened a slot. So if you are in for a transformative experience, making new friends, celebrating Samhain spooky season in the south of Germany, pagan stories at a bonfire, bone divination, introspection, reflection, and of course pumpkin harvest. You can hop over to my website because there's still a couple of spots left. But then of course a retreat unfortunately is also not for everyone. It requires a bunch of time that you have to take off from work, the money to maybe fly out to Germany. A lot of us have other responsibilities at home. Pets, kids, chops, our sourdough starter. Many of you wrote to me and were like, 
like, can we not have an online retreat? And I was super apprehensive. First, of course, I have roughly the age and tech knowledge of a dinosaur. So just handling that entire side of things seemed very daunting. Plus, of course, when you go to a retreat, you go to this magical location. You're completely removed from the mundane world, from your worries, from your troubles. You go there with one mindset, as are all the people that are going there. Everyone's mind is hyper-focused on the magic that is happening there. So with the right program in a super short time frame, it is easy to create those deep, meaningful bonds to create a transformative experience that then like really boosts you in your daily life when you go back home. And in my opinion, spending, let's say, an entire weekend in front of a Zoom conference call does not quite carry the same type of leverage, especially since I'm pretty sure that a lot of us are quite sick of uh, any type of Zoom meetings after the past two years. So again, I had put on my thinking hat, did a ton of research and came up with a different format that I think Think will actually work. Our online retreat or workshop that is split up in sizable, little enchanted bits that still allows you to function in your daily life, feed the sourdough or the children, go to work, do your thing and over time build new habits, have this transformative experience and for meaningful friendships with the group you're doing that with. And that's why today I want to introduce you to my online retreats or workshops, value packed to the max, small intimate groups, five weeks long. How it basically works is that we meet five times on a Saturday or a Sunday for two hours via Zoom where we really work and learn as a group and then during the weekdays you receive certain exercises audios, videos, guided meditations, prompts, in order to keep working on a topic and have those little magical moments each day that you can then completely scale to your availabilities, spend five minutes or spend one hour, depending on what your schedule allows. The workshops, of course, also come with an entire booklet with a wealth of knowledge. That means if you're a beginner practitioner, you really get the chance to deep dive into a topic from the start. And if you're an advanced practitioner, it gives you the chance to just learn more broad in your horizon, learn through exchange with others, and get that inspiration through the group experience. So while at some point I might still organize something small scale, if there's interest for that, comment down below and let me know. For now the things that I have planned are really for the people that want to boost their magical practice, their spirituality, that just need to shake up things, that want a change in their lives, or that just want to have that community feeling, learning something together. And what better time to do so than in the season of the witch. And now for the giveaway. I am giving away one spot to one of the online retreats or workshops to the In Your Element workshop for growth, self-discovery and connection. So how do you take part in that? I decided to do it over on Instagram. So the only thing you have to do to be in the raffle is to follow me over on Instagram. Oh my god, you're drinking so loud! Go to my Instagram, you like the post there, you tag two friends or other magical beings that could do with a little bit more enchantment in their life and then let me know what element you connect most to or what element you work most with in your witchcraft practice. Winner will then be announced the last day of August and can look forward to an entire month, five weeks filled with magic and we'll get to know a whole group of other awesome practitioners. So for the start I'm launching two workshops or online retreats of five weeks long. The first one starting in September is called In Your Element where we will discover all about the elements, elemental magic and witchcraft, how to incorporate the element in your daily mundane life, what they can teach you, how you can use them in the physical, metaphysical and psychological way. It will all be about a self-discovery, connection, back to the natural word connection with others and connection to your own true authentic self that we are so often removed to by the grey mundaneness of uh, 
everyday life. Together we will embark on a journey within, see what we can find and how we can use it in our manifestation, daily life, self-care, witchcraft practice, relationship with others and more. And the second workshop is called the Season of the Witch Manifestation Masterclass. And it is specifically designed for people that at the moment have a specific goal in their life or a need in their life. That workshop is all about manifestation techniques, channeling your inner Capricorn energy, going after stuff and making it happen magically and mundane. Might it be a business endeavor, finding your calling in life or your job that will really make you thrive. Maybe finding a partner, putting yourself out there. Big desire, life, goals, wishes that you want to manifest. We will tackle in this format, which is kind of a mixture of group life coaching, witch and spellcraft, as well as psychological, scientifically proven methods to take you where you need to be. There are two more online retreats slash workshops in the planning, one in November for self-love and confidence, and then a mini retreat in December for cozy cottage witchcrafts where we DIY our own Yule presents together. Keep an eye on my Instagram, keep an eye on the community tab here. You can of course also sign up to my Owl Post newsletter on my website so you always the first in line to know when something new and exciting is happening. All right, to recap that, if you want to be part of our online retreat, make witchy friends, boost your spiritual practice in the season of the witch, check out the website, go to Instagram, take part in the giveaway. And if you're extra adventurous, check out the Samhain retreat 12 to 16 of October. I'm just super excited for this. I hope you feel the same. And I'll see you next week with an enchanting vlog. Bye.